Well, next is a multi-layer switch inter VLAN routing. With multi-layer switch can perform layer 2 and layer 3 functions, replacing the need for dedicated router. This is the most advanced version of inter VLAN routing and is most referred. Multi-layer switch supports dynamic routing and inter VLAN routing. The multi-layer switch must have IP routing enabled. This is a really important command. You don't want to forget that. A switch virtual interface SVI exists for VLAN 1 by default on a multi-layer switch. A logical layer 3 interface can be configured for every other VLAN. The switch understands network layer PDUs, protocol data units, therefore can route between its SVI, its vir switch virtual interfaces, just as the router between its interfaces. With the multi-layer switch, traffic is routed internally to the switch device, so it's much, much faster. We don't have to have an uh, interface for each VLAN. We don't have to have, uh, for example, bandwidth problem for e all VLANs going through the one interface, which is creating a bottleneck. Now, all the VLANs, they will have its own virtual interface inside the multi-layer switch. So here we had, we started with this, two PCs, black VLAN and blue VLAN, they couldn't con communicate with each other. We needed a router. Well, now we don't need a router anymore. We have a layer three switch, which is performing the routing instructions. Well, it's like a, it is a router, it's a layer three router. Okay, so when the packet comes into the uh, switch, they will go to multi-layer switch. They will be routed to the other VLAN or to the different VLAN. Okay, on this demonstration, I will show you the multi-layer switch into VLAN routing. So I'll open my packet tracer. That's what we've been working so far. So this time I'm gonna delete this router and I'm gonna delete this switch. So I'm gonna delete these ports. So I'm gonna go in the switches use switches and choose a multi-layer switch which is here you can see the icon it's a bit different to the other switches these are sec uh, layer 2 and this is layer 3 switch as well layer 2 and layer 3 okay so connect them again together with the pc on the left fast ethernet to multi-layer switch fa10 0 10 and straight through cable again pc1 fa0 to multi-layer switch FA020. There we go. Okay, so the configuration has to be the done on the switch. So multi-layer switch, if I open that, it's got no configuration here. Okay. Enable config T uh, host name uh, say S1. Now end, go to the privilege mode and show VLAN brief. So as you can see, same as layer 2 switch, it starts with all interfaces being on VLAN 1. So what we need to do first is create two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. VLAN 10 was for the sales, VLAN 20 was for the IT. So configure terminal, terminal to go to the global configuration mode. And then we create two VLANs. So VLAN 10 name was sales. And then VLAN 20, name IT. And to go to privilege mode, and I'll type the command show VLAN brief. So you can see that I have two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, but no ports. So the thing, next thing I'm gonna do is put this 10, put it here, and the port 20, it's gonna go on this. Okay, so go to the global config mode, then to the specific interface, so interface, interface, FA010, FA0 forward slash 10. Make an access port, so switch port mode access, telling that it's end device going to connect here, not a switch or router. Then switch port access VLAN 10. Okay, we're done for that port. So we need to go to the next port, which is interface FA020 and switch port mode access and then switch port access VLAN 20. And so I'm in the privilege mode and I'll do show VLAN brief again. Now I can see the port 10 has moved to VLAN 10 and port 20 has moved to VLAN 20. 
Okay, excellent. So now what I need to do is create a virtual interfaces per each VLAN. So SVI, switch, switch virtual interface. So show interface, show IP interface brief. Okay, you can see that there's, there's one SVI already created, VLAN, that's VLAN 1. But we can create, because this is a multi-layer switch, we can create as many SVIs as we want. So config T, interface, uh, VLAN, VLAN 10, IP address, the IP address 192.168.10.1, the subject mask, and no shutdown. These virtual interfaces go up anyway, by default. So show IP interface brief, so you can see I have VLAN 10 with a correct IP address and both layer 1 and layer 2 is up. If you don't have any interface, any end devices connected to this VLAN, it will say down here. But now we have the PC on the left is connected to this VLAN, so that's why it's up. So we need to create another virtual interface. So interface VLAN 20 and IP address. 192.168.20.1 and sub mask. I'm used to doing no shutdown, but I can see it there. That it's gone up anyway. Okay, and show IP interface brief. Okay, so both the interfaces are up, and the interfaces the, the well both virtual interfaces are up. And the physical interfaces are in the correct VLAN because we check show VLAN brief. Okay, so interface 10 in VLAN 10 and interface 20 on VLAN 20. There's one more command, if you remember, one more command that we need to do on the switching. And this was IP routing. So we need to enable that. Otherwise, the, it will not ping good. So we go to the switch. So config T, IP routing. Okay, so now these two PCs, they will be able to communicate with each other without a, well, there is a layer 3 device here, which is a multi-layer switch, but we don't need that router on the stick or just a router. Okay, so go to this PC on PC on the left, so say ping, or I say IP config first. You want to do that always, even though I know now, but if you go to the production network or whatever, you do IP config and ping your gateway, so 192. 168.10.1 So you can see the PC0 or PC on the left can ping the gateway PC1 Can you ping the gateway? PC1 can you ping the gateway so ping 192 168.20.1 and PC1 or PC on the right can ping the gateway So now what I want is PC to be able to ping from VLAN 10 this PC on VLAN 20 Okay, so ping 192.168.20.20 and yes I can this is great this is uh, much better because each VLAN has got its own bandwidth here so they're not they're not sharing there's no bottleneck on the bandwidth we don't need any interfaces to waste any physical interfaces everything in virtual so this is why it's preferred okay so I'm gonna go to simulation mode I'm looking at the only ICMPs and I'm gonna ping from I'm gonna delete this so ping from this PC to this PC and you see packet is going to from VLAN 20 now it's going to VLAN it will go to VLAN 10 and then from VLAN 10 is returning to VLAN 20 you can see that everything all the VLAN into VLAN routing is happening inside the switch okay successful so now we finish this troubleshooting into VLAN routing to troubleshoot when using the router on the stick ensure that the switch port connected to the router is configured as a trunk okay that's the always always the students that forget that make sure that the port on the switch is configured as a trunk switch port mode trunk that's the command or if you want to see that show interface FA01 switch port to see what's the port, what's the what state is it working on? 
When a router under state configuration, a common problem is assigning the wrong VLAN ID to the sub interface. So on the router under stake, you remember we said interface FA0 forward slash zero dot something. That dot something doesn't have a meaning. It's local, locally significant only. So put whatever number you want. Important thing is, is after you press enter, you need to type encapsulation dot one Q. Then the VLAN ID. So VLAN 10 or 20 whatever you have. In the case, use encapsulation.1q. That, that's the command that's important here. To troubleshoot layer 3 switches issue, switching issues, verify the following accuracy. The VLANs are there. Then VLAN must be defined across all switches. VLAN must be enabled on the trunk ports. Port must be in the right VLANs. So show VLAN brief. And switched virtual interfaces, they have to must have the correct IP address and sublint mask, and they must be up. Switched virtual interface must match with the VLAN number. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, please have a look at other videos, and don't forget to subscribe. It was me, Astrid Krasnici. Thank you, bye.